Good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday, July 9th. And I'm working. Surprise! Um, I don't have any makeup on today. I'm actually feeling very oily today. And I'm kind of wondering if it's the moisturizer that I used last night. Um, I used a moisturizer that I was using during the winter when I was really dry. And I feel like that has made me very high moisture in my skin today. And my chin feels very, very oily almost. So I think what I might do is actually start trying to use the Peter Thomas Roth um, moisturizer that was drying my skin out in the winter. I might actually try to do that now since it's summer and i'm oily anyway maybe it'll help anyway good morning i'm working it is an, uh it's fine it's a fine day nothing too terrible right now um it's about 10 45 i ate a protein for bar for breakfast but i'm hungry i want to eat again i'm down another pound so i'm back to 202 so i'm 202.2 .2 is what i was this morning so four pounds up from my lowest um so it is it is coming off pretty quickly for now but it's probably gonna be another couple of weeks before i get down to 198 but i'd like to be lower <laughs> that'll come i'm not gonna get frustrated about it that'll come but it is a beautiful day outside it is already getting warm i have the air conditioning unit over here turned on and yeah i have to get um um i have i have to i don't know what i was saying sorry i just got a message on my computer that i uh that I, I looked at anyway um i i'm i'm catching up on the vlog i've got this the first is uploading this morning because it was already processed last night um i edited the second this morning and that is pro or it's uploading now it's already processed that's uploading now as well so i'm gonna have the first and the second up today for the vlog um i also have the what i ate in a day for tomorrow edited so that's good i'm gonna get that uploading um as well uh, and then get back to doing my, uh, what was I saying? Then, then get back to doing vlog edits. Um, the nice thing about the vlog, I think I told you guys this before. The nice thing about editing the vlog is that I can actually have my personal computer sitting here on the table in front of me and my work computer sitting here as well. Um, and then just listen to the vlog because I don't really edit too much out of the vlog. Pretty much if I like... Like, I'm sure I just edited out just a couple of seconds ago when I paused to type something on my computer. Um, you probably didn't see that pause while I was typing. At least I hope I edited that out. Um, so that's typically what I will edit out is, is just like, like long pauses or, you know, something like that. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy to edit the vlog. The, the hardest part about editing the vlog is my software takes forever to process, honestly. Um, which is why even if I would quit like other channels, if, even if I would quit like Epic Beauty Fail, for example, because it's so expensive and I'm just not, I haven't decided to quit that. So, so I know some of you guys watch me over there. Don't worry. I haven't decided to quit that. Um, but it has crossed my mind as a potential for 2020 to let that go because it's so expensive. Um, I spend it, I spent a couple thousand dollars a year on that channel across the year. Um, but I, I still haven't hit the thousand subscribers, so I, I make no money on that at all. Um, on Omni's Eat, it's it's not very high cost um, because at least right now we're just um, posting the unboxings and we're posting the what I ate in a days, which I have to pay for anyway. And some of the other content that I'm looking to do, again, it's just food I already eat. So the the cost for Omni's Eat is not very high, um, and the vlog vlog cost me nothing. Um, so, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Where was I going with that? <laughs> um, oh, so what I was talking about was if I would consider quitting other channels, I wouldn't quit the vlog just because it's not, it's not hard to do the editing and so forth of. I mean, it is every day of my life, but it's not difficult to edit. Um, whereas, you know, the other channel, uh, Epic Beauty Fail, cost me a lot of money each year. Ani's Eat, not so much. Um, I don't know. And like I said, I, I've considered maybe giving it up for 2020 just because I haven't hit that thousand subscriber mark yet. It cost me a lot of money and I'm making zero dollars on it, which I'm not in it for the money, but 
there's just some weird things going on with subscriber counts that I'm not I'm I'm not real sure what's going on. Um I've seen some videos where like YouTube is unsubscribing people uh without their knowledge. Like people are not unsubscribing, YouTube is unsubscribing them and you know, maybe I'm just annoying people on on Epic Beauty Fail. <laughs> And that's why people are unsubscribing. I don't know. Me personally, I don't subscribe to a lot of channels. And when I do, I don't often unsubscribe, if that makes sense. I might not watch their videos anymore. Um, because there are some, like, beauty people that I'm subscribed to that I don't really watch their videos on anymore. But I don't unsubscribe to them. Um, but maybe it's because I don't have a lot of subscriptions. I don't know. But... Anyway, I'm totally off on a tangent. I apologize that I'm off on a tangent. Um, we'll see what happens in 2020. The vlog channel will probably still go. Omnizeet probably will still continue. We'll see. Um, Epic Beauty Fail I'm struggling with though. And it's more only halfway through the year. So we'll see what happens next year. But the vlog channel is easy to edit. Long story short, what I was saying <laughs> was that it's easy for me to edit a vlog while I'm working because I can be reading emails, which is what I'm still doing today as I'm catching up on emails. I can be reading emails and just be listening to the vlog. And if I really need to focus on something or if I need to write a response or an email or something like that, I'll just pause the vlog, do what I need to, and then go back to listening to it, if that makes sense. So this whole intro has been like a cluster of information. <laughs> just me rambling pretty much. Anyway, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm hungry. I might eat breakfast early, but then again, I might wait because John's supposed to be home uh, around 11.30, 11.45 because his classes get out at 11 by the time they get the students out and everything like that. It's, you know, pushing probably 11.15, so I might just wait until he gets home even though I'm hungry. Yeah. I gotta fill up what I ate in a day someday this week, um, so I gotta figure out what I want to eat to make it a little bit different. I try to do different things, even though like the days that I'm not filming of, of what I ate in a day or full day of eating, I typically eat the same things. You guys know this. Like this morning I had a protein bar. For lunch, I'm gonna have a quesadilla and a salad. And dinner, we're having lamb and cauliflower rice. That's what's on the, the menu or the schedule for tonight. Um, so we might film a um, taste test next week. Uh, we got, we've bought a couple of keto pancake mixes. Now, granted, these, the, you can pretty much have one pancake. <laughs> um, but I figured we could taste test them, put them head to head and see which one tastes the best. Um, so we might do that. We might film that next week as a, a dinner for next week and just eat uh, keto pancakes. We already have breakfast for dinner. Um, and I was thinking about doing pancakes for, for that. Um, and then like eggs and stuff too. But, uh, cause I want, cause I think each pancake is each one pancake is like four or five net carbs. So I can't eat a lot of that, but I can eat maybe one pancake and a couple of eggs for dinner. So, all right. I'm going to get back to work. I will talk to you guys later. Sorry this has been such a cluster this morning, but I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, y'all, I'm not quite sure how I managed to do it, but I totally and completely forgot that I had a counseling appointment tonight. I mean, I guess I do know. Um, I've been on vacation for two weeks. Anyway, um, luckily I have it in my calendar on my phone, and at half an hour beforehand it pops up and says, hey, you have this appointment. <laughs> Great, great. Um, I'm glad I have the reminder because I would have totally and completely forgot about going. And John and Nicholas are at the pool still. They went to the pool about two and a half hours ago and they're still at the pool. So I didn't even get to let them know where I was going. Um, but I'm heading there now, which is, which is good. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, anyway, I, uh, I don't really know what else to say right now, to be honest with you. I just wanted to check in and say hello because, like, we're, John's already in the middle of cooking dinner. He put, um, some lamb in the oven to slow roast. He put it in at, like, 130 at 200 degrees, um, and he figured it would just, like, slowly roast over multiple hours. And then, you know, when he gets back for the pool, he's going to turn the temperature up in the oven and, you know, finish it off. Um, 
because I'm pretty sure going from frozen, it's not going to be done. Um, it's just, it's not going to be done in two and a half hours at 200 degrees. So anyway, that's what we're having for dinner. We're having lamb with rice, fried rice. Um, and I am heading to the counselor and I will be back by 5.30. So today at work, and I have more work to do when I get back because like I said, I totally forgot I had, I had this appointment. Um, but today at work, I've been pulled in a million different directions. Uh, and because of that, I've gotten pretty much nothing done. <laughs> pretty much. Um, I, uh, I, I tried to schedule my, um, travel because I have to travel next month for training, um, to Maryland. I'm going to a training class down in Maryland. Um, and I tried to schedule that and I haven't been successful in getting that done. I tried to do a training class. I haven't been successful in getting that done. I got halfway through it, but I didn't finish it. Um, I've been still trying to get through emails. It's going to take me another couple of days to get through emails, but yeah, it's like I'm trying to do too much and I'm not focusing on one thing, so I'm not getting anything done. I'm sure that many of you, if not all of you, can sympathize and know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to my appointment and I will see you guys later on tonight. I think what I'm going to do tonight um, after we eat dinner is spot test i bought two concealers recently and all those foundations that i got from ulta i think i'm gonna do spot tests on those just to make sure that they're all the right shades um and then i'm gonna try to edit july 3rd's vlog which is not edited yet um because i had a heck of a time trying to get those files off of my phone like they just did not like i was trying to email them and they didn't want to email so all right my little red light is flashing for my battery, which means that I have about 30 seconds before my camera shuts off because that's what happens when the light, the battery flashes red. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna get to my appointment and I will see you guys later on tonight. Bye. Well y'all, it is time for bed. It's a little past 10. I think it's like 10.20. Yeah, 10.18. And um, I'm ready for bed. And I have to admit defeat. I'm gonna admit it to the world that I am defeated. Um, I have finally decided to change the setting on my cell phone. Uh, I had it recording at 4K so that it would be like super crisp, super great video. And I can't do that anymore. It took me over an hour to get, I think, six files moved over from my computer to my, or from my phone to my computer. Yeah. So I changed it to 1080 and it's just, I mean, it's just, it ha it's going to have to be that way because I, I am so frustrated, <laughs> so very frustrated with my, um, my phone. So I'm defeated. From now on, anytime I record on my cell phone, it will be uh, in 1080 rather than 4K. I just can't do it anymore. So, not that I record very much on my cell phone anyway, but anymore. I don't record very much on my cell phone. I usually use my camera. So, anyway, it is time for bed. Um, I've already done my nighttime routine. I did use that Peter Thomas Roth. Uh, moisturizer so let's see how that works with my skin um, if it gets really super dry I will know that that moisturizer is absolutely 100% not for me <laughs> um, yeah we'll see I'll see I'm gonna use it over the next couple of days because one day it won't make that big of a difference but I'll use it over like the next two or three days and see how it goes um, anyway uh, all I did tonight well I went and bought a lottery ticket in hopes that maybe I'll win the Mega Millions Lottery. I can always hope, right? Um, and uh, I, I edited videos tonight. I edited two videos, so. I have my Wednesday video for Epic, or Omni Z already uploaded. I did not film my Thursday video for Epic Beauty Fail, so I'm gonna have to film that tomorrow. That's gonna be my Project Pan update. 
Um, so I'm going to have to film that tomorrow, which is fine. That's not a big deal. I can film that tomorrow, but yeah. Anyway, today I am, I, I, I'm thankful for my counseling session today. I talked a lot about my mom and my dad today in my counseling session, so. Anyway, I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you all are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow. One of these days I'm gonna film a what I eat a day this week, so I have one for next week. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I've just been really hungry this week because I think I ate so much last week that this week I've just been really hungry. So, like, I ate almost like 2,000 calories today. Problem is, a lot of that was almonds. I probably ate 500 calories in almonds today. So, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.